Last night uh, was truly a nightmare scenario for uh, that community. Um, but as I said earlier, we're blessed in the state to have the best emergency management team in the country. And they certainly were at their best last night along with the citizens. Um, West is a, is a really small community. And uh, just a few thousand people. Anyone who grew up like your dad did, uh, Doc, in, in, in a small town like West, uh, they know that um, this tragedy has most likely hit every family. It's touched uh, practically everyone in that town. Last night was tragic. Here you had first responders, volunteer firemen who were fighting a fire. An explosion occurred. Um, people were uh, all over the town were knocked back 10 feet, some through windows, some into their bathrooms, out of bed. Um, homes were destroyed in an X block radius of the explosion. Uh, our prayers go out to every one of the families every one of the families, everyone who was injured. They actually have two air permits with the, with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. Uh, they do have a, a, just an, a, an average compliance history score. Since getting their air permits in 2006, we haven't had any, any notice of violations. So. There was a violation in 2006. There was a, a, an odor complaint. Uh, so we, we had an investigation. We resolved that complaint with uh, having the, the company come in and get authorized with two uh, minor new source review air permits. A lot of people don't like putting water and ammonium nitrate together, and I believe that was one of the chemicals that was there. Uh, usually when you mix those two, you have to have something that confines it in order to make it a dangerous product. I'll tell you, a lot of firefighters will use their number one tool, which is water, in a hazardous materials chemical situation like that to cool the surrounding environments, to cool those other tanks, to keep them from cooking off or exploding. So again, too soon to really speculate was it the right place at the right time, but um, I don't think we should be, uh, be second-guessing right now the actions of the first responders and whether they were applying water at the appropriate place at the appropriate time.